Hi guys, I'm alive. I know, I know it's been way too long. I don't even know if anyone's following me anymore. But I'm sure if you are, you'll be very, very shocked to see my video pop up in your subscription box. Anyways, I'm fine. I'm alive. Um, I'm happy, as happy as can be, right? Um, and so... I just wanted to get back into the swing of things and start making these videos again. Um, I really enjoyed them when I was doing them. Um, and now that I brought that up, let me go ahead and give you guys an explanation of why I did just suddenly stop making videos without an explanation. Um, if anyone knows me, I'm someone who is very good at mothering others. Um, I love to take care of people. I love to love on people and support them and encourage them. I'm not so good at letting people do that for me. Um, I'm a very personal person. I don't like people to know my business. I mean, it could be a pride thing that I got from my mother <laughs> or I don't know. But I, I'm just not very good at being vulnerable. Having said that, that's what these videos became for me. They became a place where I was very vulnerable, um, not only to you guys, but to myself. If I didn't uh, say out loud what I was feeling, then it almost made it not real, if that makes any sense. I'm sure there's someone out there who can understand. Um, so when I would watch these videos back or even make them, um, it was very hard for me because there's only two things I've ever really, really wanted more than anything in life, and that's to be a wife and to be a mother. And I never, in my wildest dreams for my life, imagined that um, one of those things would be so difficult for me to achieve. So um, making these videos made me realize how difficult this journey was going to be for us and it made it that much more real that this wasn't just going to be a wham bam thank you ma'am I'm pregnant kind of situation it was going to take a toll on my emotions and um and I'm not I'm not good at that I'm good at expressing my emotions with my husband who's my best friend but beyond those walls I don't really like to go there um again because it's me being vulnerable and I'm not good at that um but I've longed to make these videos again because I think it's an amazing way to document this journey and to one day look back and see all that I went through all the emotions all the joy the heartache all all of it and to look at my children in the future and know that it was all worth it every tear every bit of anger and frustration every bit of hope um and uh yeah to to know that it was all worth it one day um so yes having said that i'm back um, let me recap for you where I am now in my life eight months later. Um, I, about four to five months ago, sorry my nose itches, about four to five months ago, I went to my doctor and let her know that um, I hadn't been having my period again regularly, so she gave me some progesterone, um, just a one month um, thing, seven to ten day pills, um, I got my period right after the, literally like after the 10th pill and I've been regular ever since. I have 33 day cycles, almost to a T. Um, and my ovulation day isn't as like predictable, but I do OPKs and I temp. Fertility friend's been good to me and, um, shown that I've ovulated every month since then, then <laughs> not really an issue there. Um, so Yeah. Um, obviously I'm not pregnant, um, or, um, have not conceived a child <laughs> yet. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm ready. I think this time around things are different and I'm stronger for the situation. Eight months is a long time to grow. 
Um, this journey takes a toll on you, but I'm someone who's a very determined person. I'm not a quitter by any means. And so, um, I'm not going to give up. You know, this is something that I really, really want more than anything in life. And I won't stop until I get it. <laughs> so, uh, this cycle, I guess I'll recap you on this cycle. This cycle, ironically enough that I tell you guys, I'm regular. <laughs> My period is now five days late. Now, I took um, a pregnancy test, um, 15 DPO, and it was negative. I would today be uh, 17, 14, yeah, 17 DPO, or something like that. So, I don't think it's pregnancy related, but yesterday, midday, I did go uh, to pee. And when I wiped, and only when I wiped, there was a really dark, dark, dark brown discharge kind of mixed in with my CM. I know TMI, I'm sorry. Um, and then when I woke up this morning, um, it was a dark, dark red, almost burgundy color, um, you know, uh, when only when I wiped and so far that it's only when I wipe there's hardly anything there now um, So I don't know what to really think of that. I've googled it amazing Google, you know um, It can either hurt you or be good for you. I don't know but I've read I'm um, in a few different places that Sometimes when your period is late um, all that stuff has been sitting longer than your body expects and so before AF really gets going, it um, gets rid of all that stuff. So it could just be AF showing up fashionably late. Um, I wish she didn't show at all. <laughs> but yeah, so I think AF may be coming on five days later. But I really thought this was our cycle because of that and because... Um, Usually every other cycle before this, I've had really tender breasts during um, ovulation and up until my period comes. Um, and this time, nothing, not not even the slightest bit of anything. Um, and if it does, it's probably because I'm probing them so much, <laughs> hoping to feel something. Um, the only other thing is that I've been... Um, way more hungry than I'm accustomed to being. If you guys watched my last video, which was eight months ago, um, you guys will know that I'm not a big eater or a snacker. Um, so for me, sorry, my legs are falling asleep. Um, for me to uh, eat more often is more than I'm accustomed to. And so I feel like I'm always hungry. And if I don't eat... Um, when I'm hungry, then I get nauseous. If I eat too much, I get nauseous. Basically, I'm nauseous all the time. Um, no throw up or anything, just that sick feeling. Um, so, uh, we'll see in a couple days and see if AF really does show up. We do have a doctor's appointment November 6th to meet with infertility specialists. Um, I got checked out, got an ultrasound done with my doctor, and everything turned out fine. My husband got checked out, and everything seemed to, seemed to be fine. So, um, a doctor down in L.A. Uh, wanted to refer me to his RE and get everything checked out and make sure everything's fine. So, we have an appointment November 6th, with our, which I'm really nervous about. You guys know, I just, the fear of the unknown, you know? But... The quicker I can fix whatever issue is going on, the quicker I can get pregnant, and that is the ultimate goal, no matter what it takes. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be making these videos once a week, and I miss you guys. Thank you for sticking in there with me. Um, thank you for the new people who have subscribed, even though I haven't made a video in eight months. Um, I love you guys, and can't wait to talk to you guys more. Congratulations to everyone for the new babies. BFPs and pregnancies. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon.